Welcome to Vlogmas episode four. I'm gonna start this off with a little skin update again because in Vlogmas number two a few days ago, I did a little skin update on my acne. And here is just my skin now a few days later. So the marks have definitely cleared up a little bit. My skin is looking a little bit better than it was a few days ago. I wanted to do a little update on that since I did mention it a few vlogs ago. I'm gonna start getting ready now, do a little skincare and makeup and then have breakfast because we're gonna be having ourselves a little day. Today's Saturday, December 10th i believe and we're gonna be going to new york state not too far into it like lower hudson valley or just the hudson valley area and doing a little hike also in vlogmas episode three i did a little hair trimming if you guys want to see how i trim my curtain bangs every once in a while i just like to trim it at home myself this is what it looks like still a couple days later I'm kind of exposing myself because i haven't washed my hair in a few days I go in and do my makeup basically every single time I like to wash my beauty sponge I just use hot water and soap mix it around and just squeeze the makeup off of it and then it usually looks pretty clean if you're not cleaning your sponge that can possibly contribute to more acne I think for my base makeup I'm gonna do the Say Beauty slip tint this has SPF 35 in it with the Kosas revealer foundation I have the shade 140 We just drove to the town of Cold Spring, actually. I was thinking we were gonna go to Beacon, but then it just made more sense to go to Cold Spring because it's right next to the parking lot that we're gonna do for the hike. We're gonna do the Bull Hill Short Loop. It's on all trails and it's supposed to take about two and a half hours, over four miles. We're just gonna walk around the town of Cold Spring for a little bit and then start the hike. We ate at this place, Hudson Hills Cafe, last time we were here. It's pretty good. There's a lot of antique shops here. It's cute. I don't usually cry at all, but why is it always close, ranging from a movie scene? To main of people in my dreams The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far But in case I go No need to be stressed Gotta take it home It's there I really miss the shame It is definitely chilly out, although that empanada place was very warm, so we just got nice and toasty. I think it's only a couple minute drive to the parking lot for this hike. I'm excited to do it. I'm like debating. I'm like, should I wear my puffer or am I going to get too hot? I do have a lighter coat as well, so I'll have to decide. But it's definitely chilly out. It's about 40-ish degrees right now. I decided I'm not going to wear the puffer. I'm just going to do my lighter jacket. I have two long sleeves under this. And then I always like to just have a little backpack. I have this little mini backpack. It's a Vera Bradley recycled cotton small backpack. I think that's what it's called. And I like to put my water in there. And I just switched into sneakers. But we're going to start the trail now. It's the Bowl Hill short loop. They also have a longer loop. We're going to do the short loop. And I believe it starts with the white trail marker. A nice decent ascent starting off not even five minutes in and we're hot so i am removing a layer this always happens i always think i'm gonna get cold that's why i wear the layers yeah note wear layers it gets hot even when it's freezing out
trail is a little muddy at some points, so just take note. end of the hike now but at the end on the blue trail we did it counterclockwise i think so we're finishing on the blue trail which is the cornish trail and they have the abandoned estates of the cornish and stern families so we're checking them out right now you can they have little info signs up and you can walk through and check them out but this hike was really good i would definitely recommend this if you're in the new jersey new york just like tri-state area in general it's a really good hike like a good workout but nothing too crazy it was pretty rocky at most points. I wouldn't consider it a rock scramble. We really enjoyed this hike. Had amazing views almost the entire time that you're doing the hike as well, which was awesome. <laughs> 